Please welcome Duluth Mayor Don Ness. Good morning, DFLers. Welcome to the city of Duluth. Now, one of the responsibilities of, uh, of being mayor is to take responsibility for the weather. And so I want to take this opportunity to deliver one common message to all of you regarding the weather this weekend. You're welcome. I heard all the horror stories of where you guys came from, where it's 90 degrees and humid, and then you come to the shores of Lake Superior, you get that fresh breeze off the lake at about 50 degrees, and you think, I am invigorated. I am refreshed. I feel energized because of the nice, cool weather here in Duluth, Minnesota. And thank goodness we don't have one of our famous perfect Duluth days in which you guys would be hoping to get out on the lake walk. And I know Ken Martin is thankful that we have this rain so that you guys are excited to be inside and listening to politicians, giving speeches. Thank goodness for the rain, and you're welcome for that as well. <clears throat> Another quick note for those of you who didn't plan ahead for this weekend, we have many helpful entrepreneurs within walking distance that sell Duluth sweatshirts and Duluth jackets. So that's a, that is there for your convenience. I have to tell you, I am fired up about this upcoming election. We have a story of leadership and accomplishment. Just here in Duluth, because of the leadership of DFLs, of the DFL, we see, we're seeing private sector leadership. We brought eight, uh, 300 airline mechanic jobs to Duluth because of the help of Governor Dayton. We're building a, a $70 million corporate headquarters for Maurice's in downtown Duluth, creating hundreds of new private sector jobs because of the help of DFL leadership in this state. We have combated the problem of synthetic drugs in our state. DFL leaders responded and helped our region respond to the 2012 flood and help this region rebuild. It is because of the uh, leadership in the legislature, our congressional delegation, Amy Klobuchar, Al Franken, and of course Governor Dayton that have been the foundation for that success here in the city of Duluth. This election in 2014 is going to be a contest between political sound bites on the right and a record of accomplishment on the left. And we know that Minnesotans understand the importance of moving this state forward. They know the importance of, of a record of accomplishment and that's why they're gonna send Democrats back. Nobody knew the importance and the power of this message of how government can play a role to better the lives of Minnesotans than my mentor and our friend Jim Oberstar. And so for us in the 8th Congressional District, we are going to get out. We're going to be fired up for this election. We're going to come out in big numbers in Duluth, in the range, in the rest of the 8th Congressional District, in the memory of Jim Overstar. And we are going to re-elect Congressman Rick Nolan. We're going to re-elect Governor Mark Dayton. We're going to re-elect Senator Al Franken and the rest of the DFL ticket because we are fired up and we are excited about the record of accomplishment that DFLers have shown over the last two years. Thank you. Enjoy your time in Duluth. Have a great convention.